All right, everybody. Hey, welcome to the Public News Podcast. I'm here with Hello Kitty Cat. Guys, I got uh, Kyle, Chris, Mike, and Larry. How you fellas doing, man? Good. Doing great. Good. Thanks hey, for having us. Good, man. Hey, awesome. Doing great. There you go. So we'll start around, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, my name's Kyle. I play drums. Chris, guitar. This is the sound of my voice. Uh, Mike, I play the bass guitar. So I'm supposed to be Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I guess that makes me Billy. So my name's Larry, and I'm the singer slash guitar player. Right on. So, um, yeah. Like so, so nice. your performance tonight's gonna go out live on uh, on Facebook, and so that people see it. Then this is gonna hit a couple days later. So you know, people are gonna you know want to get to know you a little bit. So, how did how did how did this band come about? You know, how how the how how did you guys meet? Was uh, the creation of this band? Where where does all this thing start from? So I ran an ad on Craigslist. Um, wanting to start a Smashing Pumpkins tribute. And uh, I weeded through emails and, you know, responses, and then uh, I found these guys, basically. Well. And then uh, we got to... It, it was only supposed to be, like, uh, I think the original ad said something like, I don't want to look like them. You know, I just want to play the music. Right. You know, I wasn't trying to, like, you know, make us all look like them with the girl bass player and everything and <laughs> I just wanted to play the songs and uh, it was just supposed to be like you know let's just get together a couple of times a month maybe we'll play out here and there and we all came to the studio we played like three songs and after the third song these two guys were like yo man I'm in this project with both feet right let's on. do this how long ago was that uh, that was May of last year it was May 5th actually oh last year. right the, the magic was there pretty yeah. fast so, so this, this is a this is a fresh pumpkin right here, all huh? ready to go. This is the yeah. right here. Yeah, this yeah. is our first performance. This is tonight is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hell this is our yeah. Debut gig. Hell yeah! But, uh, Don't we'll... fuck it up. Okay, now I'm nervous. It'll be goodbye, Kitty, real quick. You know? <laughs> 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 okay, wow. oh, but yeah, That's so good, uh, so you know, you guys, I'm sure, have been in other bands and done different things. You know, um, you know. I guess you. I guess you don't have any music out where people can can hear it. You know what I mean? With, I mean, with like this, with, with Hello Kitty. Yeah, if you go to like our our Facebook page or our Instagram, there's like clips of songs that we've done. We actually made um, we did our videos a little bit differently. Like uh, we put some animations in them um, just to kind of stand out a little bit. But yeah, you can see them if you go to. But yeah, well, yeah, yeah, after yeah. after the, you know when they see this, they can you know watch it back. They'll see a whole live performance. So yeah, 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 it'll yeah. be all right there. So I thought it'd make you nervous, you know. But, you know <laughs> no, you know, I'm, I'm like, there. that's sick. I love the yeah, you know, live broadcasting. Yeah. It's super cool. Fuck yeah. So uh, you know, let me let me start with you, man. You know, what what inspired you to become a musician to you know pick up the the that instrument and start getting after it? What was it? I started playing piano when I was a kid, but like I didn't want to like practice. It's not fun switched to guitar same shit like but i loved like you know nirvana and soundgarden and smashing pumpkins and like grunge yeah. music in general as a young kid and tried playing guitar didn't stick and then i started playing drums and was just like all right i'm doing this forever now this is like my my shit and yeah here we are I'm, yeah I don't, I don't even play any, any instruments but i know that if i could play one now the older i get would be the piano yeah, you know, no, see, like, I regret not sticking like, with you it get older, you're just, that's a smooth shit you're just like yeah you know, everything it's, and, it's super cool I, uh, yeah so, uh, what about you, Chris? What what got you in here? Uh, I had bad grades and was grounded for like three years, and there was an acoustic guitar in my room, and so I just started learning records from Nirvana to uh, Appetite for Destruction, and just got better and better. And by the end of that three years, I started a band in high school, and that was kind of it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Where are you from? Are you from around here? From Ventura? Yeah, from LA. Okay. Yeah. Grew up in Culver City. Right on. Yeah. Right on. All right, Darcy, what do you got? <laughs> <laughs> um, I got into music at a very young age. I was probably 11 years old and I wanted to be a drummer. And my parents told me I can't have drums because they're too loud. So it took me two days to decide what instrument. So I picked the guitar. And I started playing that guitar like my life depended on it. And uh, I noticed that a lot of bands, there's too many guitar players. Everyone I knew played guitar. My mom plays guitar. And every band that I would run into needed a bass player. 
So I was like, you know what? I could just pick up the bass and I could start playing next week. Or I could wait in line with the, all the other shredder guitar players. Right. So I picked up the bass, started playing in church, and uh, got my sea legs there. And uh, my, some influences were like the Who early years. Young Man Blues probably got me into rock music when Les I heard Claypool. that song. Les Claypool. Les Claypool is badass. Fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, man. The bass players. Yeah. I, I, now I love the bass. Yeah. And I just look out. You, know, you can be a great guitar player, but it's a, it's a unique thing to be a really good bass player, to know when to lay back. And basically, you're just laying back the whole time, you know. Yeah. Right but uh, no, I just love music. You know, I play in like five different bands right now. And until it doesn't work, I'm going to have to start shaving off some of the bands that are going nowhere. So. Yeah. Right on, right on. Well, I think you know I could probably answer for Larry. I know what he's gonna say. You know, I think I said I did it for the ass, straight up. I got <laughs> in it for the ass. You know what I mean? Looking for, for the girls. And that's, you know, a lot of people want to say. I'll say it for him, but yeah, I guess he's got that look, man. So, no, no, what's your history, man? Um, actually, I almost the same as Chris. I got in a lot of trouble, and my grades weren't the greatest, and my mother took everything away from me. Uh, except my guitar, and um, I was able to hide my Walkman. She didn't know about that. The Walkman. So, did Walkman. I just date myself by saying yeah, Walkman? Yeah, I had a Walkman. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so which back, is funny. I just found it, as a matter of fact. It was huh? it was in storage, and I got it out. So I still have my original still Walkman. It. Still got awesome. it. My daughter loves it, too, as a matter of fact. But, um, so, yeah, that was it. I was kind of just stuck in my room with a guitar and a Walkman, and I just listen to the tapes and just try to play along with everything and uh eventually i started taking lessons but that didn't last too long i liked you know figuring out everything on my own so um but yeah that's it so i just kept it going and uh i actually dj'd for a number of years and um cool. yeah i was met my wife at the bar uh that i was djing at and there See? was a band. i knew it i knew it i knew it i knew it that's what we got in here for awesome, dude. Yeah. yeah she was a bartender and uh i played with the band and that was there the house band and i just got like a taste for it again yeah and i was like all right i'm starting a band and this was in florida and so i did that for a living for about 15 years then COVID took all our gigs away and uh i had an opportunity to move out here and i did that and then just figured I'd start playing again, so. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. They talk about the Walkman. I remember I had my first Walkman, you know, the cassettes. My mom took me to the swap meet, and I got every Oingo Boingo CD. Fuck you know, yeah. Fuck like, yeah. And we over here in one package, and I was like, oh, man. <laughs> I still, oh, I still, my whole, I still have an Oingo Boingo playset. I love them. I love them. Fucking Danny oh, Elfman, dude. Yeah. Danny Elfman, yeah. Icon, yeah. Those songs yeah. are so fucking crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, they, love it. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, because uh, the I guess they, they're called um, the form or the the members of former members of Oingo Boingo is what they did, and they were gonna play here, but there's they, well, they, the stage is not big enough. They got you know like yeah, 15 yeah, guys. Yeah, so, yeah, like, <laughs> and, well, I got, you know we have Mexican out here. I get mariachi bands up there, but they're shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> Oingo Boingo didn't <laughs> want to do all that, you know what I mean? So, but uh, they were cool. But hey, man, so I know we got people out there waiting for you. It looks yeah. like it's gonna be a nice crowd. And uh, hey man, I'm honored to have you guys here. Your first gig, you know, honored go out there. Here, and yeah. Thanks for having us. Just all take a deep breath, dude. Go out there and have some fun, man. Kick oh, ass, yeah. bro. Hey, hey thanks, thank you so guys. much. Thanks awesome. for having yeah. us. Yeah. Hey guys, watch this, dude. You know, uh, if you like what you see, you know, we'll have them back here. And uh, you, hey, where can they find you guys? If you know, upcoming gigs, where where, where do they find people? Find you at Hello Kitty Cat Band on Instagram, and, and uh, then Facebook is. Find us, band. Find us on I don't Instagram. think anyone uses Hello Facebook Kitty anymore. Cat I think, band. So I think we're find, probably okay. Find Larry's wife, and she'll tell you how to yeah. Yeah. where to go, probably. So. All right, hey, guys. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. And, uh, hey, good luck with your project, dude. And I hope you guys kill it. Thanks. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome.